Welcome, everyone. It's first look time as the Eagles get set for the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday in Arlington, Texas, a battle for the top of the NFC East. I'm Dave Spadaro, Eagles insider, Brian Westbrook, Eagles Hall of Famer. And we saw the Cowboys a few weeks ago come into Lincoln Financial Field and put a number on the Eagles, dominating defensively, winning late in the game with an offense that could not be stopped in mm -hmm. the run game. This is a Dallas team, Brian, that has surged to the top of the NFC East. And really, a lot of people look at the Cowboys as a serious Super Bowl contender. You know, Dallas has a lot of good things going for them. You know, there was a point in this season when Dak Prescott couldn't hit anybody, a wide open receiver that's two feet away from him. But now that running game has gotten going. Dak Prescott has played much better. He's using his legs to create plays. Now you're seeing a different style of offense down there. You add Amari Cooper to that, that mix. Michael Gallup running deep routes, getting open. They have some playmakers on the outside. Of course, they have that run game, and their offensive line has become more and more healthy with a quarterback that's played better. That offense is, is potent. When you look on the other side of the ball, they also have a defense. Yeah, let's start with the offense, and let's start specifically with Ezekiel Elliott really having the best season of his yes. career, 1,150 rushing yards. He's got 53 catches, 428 yards, receiving three touchdowns. If you want to stop the Cowboys – you better deal with Ezekiel. Yeah, it starts in the box. And last week against Adrian Peterson, obviously a different type of running back, younger running back. But we were able to stop the run except for the long run, uh, the 90-yard run. This week, we're going to need that same attention to detail. We're still going to need our, de our secondary guys doing their ability to come up and make some tackles, not miss tackles. They know We know that they want to run the football. That's what their offense is built on. That's their identity, run the football and then use play action. We have to stop the run first. It was so disappointing to see the Eagles – after the bye week, yeah. hosting the Cowboys, mm -hmm. came back to tie the game twice in the second half, and then Dallas just went down the field. I yeah. wonder what kind of adjustments Jim Schwartz, who kind of laid back, it seemed, in yeah. that game, will he be more aggressive against the Cowboys? In that game, if you compare that game and then you look at the Washington game last week, it was a lackluster uh, effort game for the, the Eagles. Energy-wise. Yeah, energy-wise. It's against the, the, the Cowboys. We just didn't look very prepared. We didn't look like we wanted to be aggressive defensively. In order for us to win this football game, we have to be aggressive. We have to go out there and play, you know, everything to the wall, go out there and try to win this football game. But it's all about being aggressive. And I'm talking about not just the front four. I'm not talking about just the linebackers. The entire defensive secondary included. We have to be able to stop the run, make Dak Prescott win this game with his arm. And the trade that the Cowboys made acquiring Amari Cooper yeah. kind of ridiculed at the time. Why would you give up a first-round <laughs> draft pick for Amari Cooper? Mm -hmm. Well, he's helped turn that team around. The Cowboys playing with a lot of confidence. And having the threat of Amari Cooper has certainly opened up everything in that offense. The, the Cowboys needed someone that can get open versus man-to-man, -man, that can be that possession receiver on third down when they needed to. Everybody knows you want to stop the run against that team. Amari Cooper has done a great job of making defenses respect the wide receiver position. And Dak Prescott, with Amari Cooper, has looked much more as a, as a competent quarterback in the NFL. This is a different Dallas team than we played a couple weeks ago. We still have to do the same thing. Aggressive, nasty football. Now, as potent as the offense has been for the Cowboys at times, how they've really turned it around is on the defensive side of the mm -hmm. football. And we saw the number they did on the New Orleans Saints last Thursday. Physical, running to the football, tackling really well. The rookie, Leighton Vander Esch, has been a star yeah. at linebacker. Jalen Smith, young linebacker, back in full form after his injury coming out of college. And then Demarcus Lawrence up front, eight and a half sacks, <laughs> leading the charge. Nasty, nasty Cowboys defense. They have a bunch of guys on that side of the ball uh, that can get it done. Obviously, a great linebacker core that can stop the run. They're fast. They can cover sideline to sideline. But for them, it starts up front. They're front four, getting after the quarterback, pass or run. They do a great job of that. And then when you look in the secondary, they do a great job of challenging receivers, especially at the point of the catch. They go up. Byron Jones does a great job of getting you off your route, messing up your timing at the line of scrimmage. And then at the point of the catch, he's challenging the catch. It's going to be important for our receivers to run great routes, create separation so that Carson Wentz can find them. You know, Brian, we've been applauding Doug Peterson. The run game has been going for the Eagles offense. They've stuck with it the last couple of weeks here. Mm -hmm. But the Cowboys averaging, uh, allowing just 3.7 yards per yes. carry, second best in the NFL. Their defense against the pass, seventh in the NFL. This is a top five top six defense. So if you're Doug Peterson, what are you dialing up here against the Cowboys? Well, you have to give those young linebackers, Smith as well as Vander Esch, a lot of different things to look at. I'm talking about motions going one way, 
play coming back the other way. I'm talking about tight ends going over top of them, someone underneath of them. Don't allow them just to hone in and key on one player, Josh Adams, or one player, Golden Tater, Zach Ertz. They have to be multiple, which we did a very good job against the Redskins, and making sure that everyone touches the football. Make sure that those linebackers just can't be downhill football players. If you do that, we have a chance to move the football offensively. The Cowboys are 7-5. and five. The Eagles are 6-6. Six and six. This is the third straight NFC East game for the Eagles, mm -hmm. who I think are still, should be anyway, feeling like this is a must-win situation. After the win against the Redskins, they should be energized. They have an opportunity to go into someone else's house and get a win. That's the most important thing right now. And this team that has continued to fight and battle through injuries and a lot of different other things, do we still have a chance? That's the most important thing. You're in December and still have a chance to make it into the playoffs. We should expect an Eagles team to come out and play one of their best games of the season. Yeah, it was interesting. When the Eagles played the Cowboys at Lincoln Financial Field, terrible start. Nope. Offense just mm -hmm. couldn't get out of its own way. But then in the second half, they started to get the rhythm, started yep. to get things going. So maybe that kind of carries over into this game on Momentum Sunday. Momentum is so important in the NFL. The Eagles have built some momentum over the last couple of weeks, especially offensively now and defensively as well. Now we need to allow that to carry us through. And, and, and most times you think playing on a short week because you played on Monday night is, is, is a bad thing. I think for the Eagles, that's a good thing. The closer the game is to having uh, you know success on Monday against the Redskins, that momentum is that much closer. This is a good thing for the Birds. The game is in Texas, but Brian, the Eagles have always gone down to that ridiculous stadium and yeah. played well. Why do you think that is? You know, and I, I don't know why we've been much better down there, but when you have the Cowboys fans that are crazy and they do a lot of things that we just don't like, it's a point of pride for us to go down there and beat them in their own house. It's a point of pride. This team is built last year with winning on the underdog mentality. We need a little bit of that back this week because nobody thinks we can go beat a team that just beat up on the Saints. Now it's time for us to go ruin their season. That's what we're built for, and I think our team is ready and at that point to go take a win. Yeah, everybody is jumping back on the Cowboys bandwagon. Time for the Eagles to put a little flat tire That's in right. that parade mm -hmm. scenario for the Dallas Cowboys. That's our first look at the Dallas Cowboys who host the Eagles on Sunday. Seven and five Cowboys, six and six Eagles. It's a big one in the NFC East. Brian Westbrook, Dave Spadaro, thanks so much for joining us.